Tuesday, the Tuesday she says, will lend credibility to that number. Matt accused of first degree murder in the Eden Center shootings is testifying for a second day of his Toronto trial. Christopher Husband is telling the jury he believes one of the two men he killed was out to get him months before the center shooting. This is part of the show Chung's coverage in Toronto. Christopher Husband's described his boyhood friend, Nixon Narmalanger, as someone who started out being bullied as a child and grew up to be a bully and worse. Husband's admits to shooting Narmalanger. Good afternoon. It's 3.30. And it's starting to get cooler again. There's a bit of wet on the windshield, so it's starting to rain. But not a big deal. It's been hard for me lately to get out of class in a timely manner because there have been people either to talk to or things to do. I didn't even look to see if there was a, a, uh, <laughs> the sign was up. I think the sign is down. I think Pauline took it down as soon as class was over. Nancy was back. Nancy was fine and uh, everything was fine today. I did, uh, more assessments. Today was writing, so everyone was in different locations, and I sat around a lot. I did um, go up and down quite a bit. And there will be more assessments in future because people haven't been around and they need to catch up. And, you know, this catch-up process is uh, the biggest problem. Not everybody's here on the same day. And yet everybody would like to be assessed. So, I have a lot of work. But everything went okay. Um, in the end, at the end of the day, I was uh, trying to work out how to make the door work. Because the door is not working properly. And also, I was trying to get my books. I've ordered books. It's been months now that I've had them on order, and they still haven't arrived, and you know, da, da, da. So it finally got straightened out what I wanted and what was happening. I have so much money to spend, and they won't get me the books I want. So now I'm getting the books I want, hopefully. And um, that is pretty much it. It was a pedestrian crossing and we all had to get around the car that was waiting for the pedestrian. So it's a very gray day, very, you know, overcast and snowy. It really looks like it wants to snow. And it was, you know, doing a few flakes thing this morning when I came, so it's been threatening all day, but it hasn't really. What else? A uh, one student who was a visitor and has since become a permanent resident who's a single mother, and she's been paying and paying and paying, and she shouldn't have been paying. And so now we're trying to get her a refund, and they say we don't do refunds, and so there is a big uproar about that. And I'm staying well out of it because it has nothing to do with me. But, you know, the fuss is still happening, so there was that. But anyway, other than that, nothing much. Chilly, overcast day. There's husband going for his walk. And... Uh, I'm home. And that's it, folks. That's it, folks. Yesterday, all the blue bins were blowing all over the place. There were two blue bins on our front yard this morning. 
it seems that everyone has come to collect their blue bins. And hopefully I can go to the pool tonight without any thing happening. Like fouling. Damn. I hate that fouling thing. Die for now. Mm -hmm.